Hello, and welcome to yet another screencast on Maple 15. In this screencast, we're going to focus on the left sidebar that contains palettes. Palettes are clickable menus that allow you to enter in constants, functions, and other Maple features into the worksheet. Let's have a look at some of them as they appear in the default Maple setup. We'll start here with the expression palette, which should be open when Maple 15 opens. Here you can see a number of math expressions that can be entered. Integrals, sums, derivatives, limits, basic math, math functions, and more. To see how these work, let's have Maple compute a simple indefinite integral, the integral of cosine of 2x. Click on the expression in the palette. Notice Maple has entered in an integral with some blanks for you to put in the specifics. Let's type cosine of 2x for the integrand, and then hit tab to go to the differential. We're integrating with respect to x, so type x here, then hit enter. Mabel computes the antiderivative correctly. To make that a definite integral, click the definite integral expression. Mabel inserts a definite integral form and prompts you to enter in the details. Let's integrate cosine 2x from 0 to pi over 4. Type 0 for the lower limit, then tab, then capital P, lowercase i, slash 4, and then tab, cosine of 2x, then tab, then finally x and hit enter. Most other Maple expressions entered from the palette work the same way. Click on the expression, enter in the details, and use the tab key to cycle between the blanks. You can also click on the blanks to edit what you entered. Further down the palette, we see expressions for functions. Here's another way to enter e to the x, for instance. If I wanted e to the fourth, I could click on the e to the x expression, and then type in a 4 to the blank, and hit enter. You should spend time playing around with these expressions to see how they work. We'll pay particular attention to those expressions for defining mathematical functions in a later screencast. Another palette that's open is the Common Symbols palette. Here, you can enter in mathematical constants like e and pi. Infinity is also here, as are some symbols for comparisons, sets, and other operations. Sometimes you might want to use Greek letters for variables. If so, then you can enter Greek alphabetical symbols from the Greek template. For example, here's Maple taking the derivative of natural log of cosine theta. From the expression palette, choose the derivative expression. We're differentiating with respect to theta, so click theta from the Greek palette to enter that into the derivative. Hit tab to move to the next blank. Then type ln, parenthesis, cosine, parenthesis. Click theta from the Greek palette. Close the parentheses and hit enter. There are several other palettes available for you to use. One more that may be useful is the handwriting palette near the top. This palette allows you to hand draw a symbol into the window, and Maple will try to identify the right expression for you to use. For example, if I wanted to find a symbol for the Dirac constant from physics, which looks like an H with a line through the stem, I could just draw it here in the window with my mouse, then click on this button to have Maple try to translate your handwriting into a symbol. There's the one I want, so I can just click it to enter it into the workspace window. So palettes allow you to operate Maple from a much more point-and-click perspective without having to type so much. Thanks for watching.